Internet is short for interconnected networks. It's simply an aggregation of multiple networks owned and managed by different companies. These different networks are physically interconnected inside facilities known as peering points or exchange points. Traffic from one service provider's customers destined for recipients on another provider's network must go through exchange points. The big providers do not charge each other for exchanging this traffic. This creates something known as hot potato routing. Since there is no economic incentive to manage other people's traffic, service providers will move traffic bound for other providers off their own networks as soon as possible. There are a few regional exchange points scattered around the country connecting different service providers, but virtually all of them interconnected to national exchanges. The Metropolitan Air Exchange in Washington, D.C., which we call May East, and a similar facility in San Jose, which we call May West. These two exchanges move the most traffic. If we follow the packets or envelopes of data, we can see why there are problems. We're going out over the local loop, which typically is a circuit leased by the company. From there, the packet goes over another circuit to the Internet Service Provider, or ISP. If this was a dial-up connection, the packet would go into the ISP's modem banks and then into the router. The router looks up the destination and finds that the address is not on its backbone, so it sends the packet to the closest national exchange, May East. Virtually all the major service providers interconnect here. The amount of data that's exchanged is huge, so there's congestion. To minimize cost, hot potato routing dictates that a service provider should offload traffic bound for another network at the closest point possible, in this case, May East. A router in May East looks up the destination and sees that the address is on a network connected to May West. The packets are routed to a long haul backbone and sent to San Jose via Chicago. Just like May East, an enormous amount of traffic is exchanged in May West. A router here looks up the address and sends the packet to the backbone provider that has the destination connected to it. From the backbone, the packet goes through another service provider's point of presence, which may or may not have congestion. From the POP, it goes over the phone company's local loop to a competitive local exchange carrier. This carrier provides the final link, known as the last mile, to the recipient destination. If this loop is oversubscribed, congestion will occur. Congestion can also occur if there are too many simultaneous users requesting content from the servers. The content flows back over the same interconnecting series of routers and backbones. At any point in time, one or many points of congestion occur on the return path, causing delay. No one can determine when or where congestion will occur, so it's not possible to guarantee throughput or quality of service. The random nature of this congestion is compounded when millions of users are requesting and receiving information all over the country, all over the world. Since the internet is non-deterministic, it is not able to handle applications that need guaranteed quality of service. As broadband applications become more common, the problem becomes worse, even if you put more bandwidth in the internet.